Today in Thailand, supporters of Prime Minister Ging Lak Shinawat took to the streets to reject a court ruling which found her guilty of abuse of power. She's been ordered to resign. Opposition protesters, on the other hand, couldn't be happier with the news. They've filled the streets in Bangkok for months, aiming to topple Ying Luck's government and end the political influence of her brother, deposed Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat. The unrest isn't likely to be over anytime soon. Elections have been scheduled for July, and Ying Luck is slated to win. Vietnam is furious after Chinese Coast Guard ships rammed into eight of its Coast Guard vessels in the South China Sea last Sunday. These Vietnamese videos show one collision. Some seamen were hurt. At a news conference in Hanoi, the Vietnamese said its ships were trying to stop what they say is an illegal oil drilling platform about 120 miles off its coast. When Vietnamese vessels approached the oil rig to stop the illegal intrusion, Chinese protective vessels purposely and directly ran into Vietnamese vessels. The oil rig was surrounded by ships from both countries, Coast Guard, military and civilian, and protected by aircraft. This is a major escalation because of the numbers of ships and because military ships are involved, which is not usually the case with China. And it's occurring before an ASEAN meeting in Miramar. So from now until the end of the year when we have summit meetings, Chinese actions are number one on the agenda. They Both China and Vietnam claim the waters around the Paracel Islands. Our contributor in Vietnam says there's talk of war on the streets. Meantime, China has told the Philippines to release a Chinese fishing boat seized near the Spratly Islands, which China calls the Nansha. What I want to say is that China has indisputable sovereign rights over the Nansha Islands, including Half Moon Shoal and their surrounding waters. We warn the Philippines side against more provocative action. The Philippines also claims the islands. The Philippine seizure and the confrontation between China and Vietnam comes days after President Obama visited Asia to underline the U.S. pivot toward the Pacific. Hi, I'm Tui Vu, the host of Link Asia. Catch Link Asia every Friday on Link TV, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Check our website for local listings on KCET Los Angeles and PBS's The World Channel.